Hello, in this presentation we will take a look at an Accounts Payable Agent Report within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been following along with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. If not, that's okay. We're going to look at the Accounts Payable Aging Report. If you have the backup file, you can restore that by going to the File and Open or Restore. We currently have the Open Windows tab open, found at the View and Open Windows tab, and the Company Home page, found at Company and Home page. We're going to be looking at a report for the Accounts Payable Aging, and therefore going to the Reports drop-down. It can be found in the Vendors section, but we're going to be working with the Report Center, so we will select the Report Center. We are looking at accounts payable, so we're going to need the vendors, but first note, I'm going to make this, uh, maximize this. We are in the grid format, so we can see the little grid format here. And we are on the standard tab, as opposed to memorize tab, favorites tab. We're going to scroll down to being in the payables relating to vendors. So we're looking for vendors and payables. And we're going to select this first items, the payable aging. We'll select the payable aging and we're going to change the date to and this being a balance sheet account there's only one date we don't need a range we just need an as of date and that as of 02 2821 february 28th 2021 if we scroll here there's going to be our aging report we don't have a lot of activity in our data here we only owe epiphone as of this date uh that 1200 this is going to be a breakdown of the accounts payable. It's important to know how this fits into our major reports, our major financial statements, those being the balance sheet and the income statement, otherwise known as the profit and loss. So we're going to select that. We're going to go to the balance sheet. This should be on the balance sheet, accounts payable. By selecting the reports drop down, company and financial, scrolling down to the balance sheet standard, and we'll change the date to 02 2821. February 28th, 2021. We're looking down on the liabilities section. Here's our accounts payable. What we're doing is we're seeing that accounts payable. That's who we owe typically to vendors. In this case, we buy guitars. So our vendor, our main vendor being uh, Epiphone, our distributor. And that's going to be who we owe to. If we go back to the AP aging summary, then we see that that, of course, will be the total here, breaking out who we owe that total to. In this case, only one. Uh, person or one company Epiphone it is current what we're saying here or it's within uh, 1 to 30 days so rather than being current it's in 1 to 30 days uh, so it's past due so we got to think about paying that this will break out our information very important when you're in the payables uh, section of the accounting process many people spend basically their entire uh, job basically looking through a report such as this and trying to manage who the payments should be paid to first Obviously, we would have in a large company, we'd be dealing with possibly a lot of payables depending on the type of industry that we are in and deciding which payables we need to pay first, second, third, and so on. And this will, or report will, of course, help us manage that, uh, that process and that information. We're going to go ahead and export it. Note, too, however, that you can drill down on this information. So if I want to know more information about that 1002, I can use the zoom function and scroll down and say well what happened with this it's a bill so it's going to be a bill and i'm going to scroll down on that or zoom in on that and then it should provide us with the actual source document that source document in this case a bill to epiphone that is uh, past due here's the date of the bill when it was entered into our system uh and here's the, going to be the due date and that of course being the date on which the aging is based so we're going to then uh, close this back out Close this back out. We're going to export this information to Excel to an Excel file that we have currently set up already. And we're just going to export this to an existing workbook in a new worksheet by selecting the Excel icon up here. And we want to create a new worksheet. So we will create a new worksheet. And we're going to put that into, however, an existing workbook. We will browse for that workbook. And there it is. It's going right where we want it this time. So it's right there. So I'm going to click on it. We could select open or just double click on that workbook that we have already created and want to create a new worksheet within. Double clicking on it. Exporting that item. 
We will then see it opening up Excel. Excel will be open with the prior information in it. Then create a new tab. That new tab having this information on it. Here is that new tab. Here's the prior tabs we have been working on. We're going to drag this to the right hand side. Just grabbing the tab to the right. Dragging it to the right. And we're just going to double click on it and call it AP Aging. And then we'll go scroll up top. We're going to do our normal uh, adjustments. Going to go to the View tab, Windows Group, Unsplit the Screen. Then check out the Page Layout view. Scrolling down to the bottom, this little icon right there, the Page Layout. And we see that we have the, the header in there and the information is printing on one page. That looks good. So we're going to go back to the normal view. And that's what we would like to see. So I'm going to save that. And save that. And close that. And that will be uh, the Accounts Payable Aging Summary Report.